forth-changing landscape of multilateralism. Recent events like the East Asia Summit in Jakarta and the G20 Summit in Delhi highlight significant challenges facing the global and regional multilateral order, emphasizing underlying crises in the existing framework. But what exactly is multilateralism? The concept, as described by the United Nations, is challenging to encapsulate with a single definition. In essence, multilateralism entails a collaborative framework involving a minimum of three participating states, setting it apart from bilateral and unilateral approaches. However, it's important to note that the essence of multilateralism extends beyond the mere number of involved actors. It hinges on the shared pursuit of a common objective, grounded in the adherence to a collective set of norms and values. Multilateralism is guided by principles such as consultation, inclusivity, and solidarity. With mutually agreed upon rules promoting sustainable cooperation, it creates a framework where all states share identical rights and responsibilities, serving as both a cooperative method and an organizational structure. The United Nations, UN, exemplifies multilateralism in its pursuit of a sustainable and inclusive global order. The post-Cold War era saw the flourishing of multilateralism, but it is now in decline both globally and regionally. This decline is marked by the notable absence of key leaders, such as Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping at recent summits. Russia's conflict with the West over Ukraine and China's disputes with numerous Asian neighbors exemplify the eroding state of multilateralism. In the 1990s, multilateralism flourished as Europe integrated under the European Union and ASEAN in Asia. Great power rivalry diluted leading to enhanced cooperation on global issues. China's integration into the World Trade Organization in 2001 further solidified its position as the world's second largest economy. However, challenges within the current multilateral global order include the rise of unilateralism and protectionism, exemplified by events like the America First policy and Brexit. Exclusive and unresponsive multilateral institutions like the United Nations Security Council and the World Trade Organization also pose concerns. In response to these challenges, India has adapted its stance, shifting from promoting a multipolar world to focusing on a unipolar Asia, dominated by China. India's role in shaping the new multilateral paradigm includes active participation in the Quadrilateral Forum, Quad, advocating for balanced globalization and addressing global issues within the G20. India's burgeoning role reflects the evolving landscape of multilateralism, prioritizing inclusivity and the balance of global interests. As the world continues to evolve, the future of multilateralism remains uncertain. But one thing is clear. India's role in shaping new regional and global frameworks is set to make a significant impact on the world stage. Thanks for joining us.